Drop it. Google Pixel 4. What does the Google Pixel 4 looks like? What? <laughs> I like some iPhone 11. <laughs> Hello, with me, some fast A, and this is Tech Talk. About to talk about the Google Pixel 4 leaks and rumors. So about to see me right now with me, Superfast A, Sub SFA, Like SFA, hit the bell if you haven't. You need to hit that bell to get my notifications. And um um follow SFA on the social media sites. YouTube YouTube subscribe. Twitter follow. Instagram excuse me. Um Instagram um follow and Twitter follow. And time to see Superfast A talk about Pixel 4. Let's go. Hello with me, Sebastian, and today I'm going to be talking about the Google Pixel 4. Now on my TV, so I have an ad blocker, Business Insider, now what I'm going to be reading here, this is from Business Insider, not by me. I'll be reading this, it says it looks like using an ad blocker, it wants me to turn it off, I don't want to. So I'm going to do it on my phone, my phone does have an ad blocker, but I turn it off, I don't feel like turn it off on this. So yeah, for me too fast, hey guys. Yeah, today uh, let me be. So let me, before we start reading this, um, Google Pixel 4. What are you? What? The the pancake design. Pancake design. Pancake design. And they even Google even confirmed that it's gonna be looking like that on the back. Now I understand it can maybe do a lot of awesome stuff. If it does really good software and really does good camera, like I don't know, 8K footage or 4K or 1080p and 60 frames or higher or slow motion, like maybe some uh, really slow motion, maybe I might like it. But if it's just a square camera and the, and uh, any other phone that comes out that does better, or even phones that are from the past that does better, or even the same specs, I'm like. Looks horrible though. The back for me, I don't really I don't really like it. Google Pixel 4, I do not really like the back. But everybody's different. I don't really like it, but if Google wants to go there, that's their really choice. So uh, I'm too fast say I'll be reading this from Business Insider. And Business Insider says Google Pixel 4 is expected to be to be a major change from past. Pixel phones. Here are the most incredible rumors we've heard about it so far. So from Business Insider, I'm reading this. Google Pixel 4 rumors started emerging recently and Google itself recently tweeted a teaser image of Pixel 4. So Google, the official company, have to, has basically shown us a picture of the future Google Pixel 4. Thankfully, I don't think it's going to have a notch, but really, the, especially the square design, it literally looks like Pikachu face. Like, think about it. Pikachu face right there. And it looks like the iPhone 11 leaks supposed to look like a square. If you, if you guys, if you Apple people don't like the square, this is what it's probably gonna look like on the iPhone 11. And I don't like the square on the Google Pixel 4, so I'm not gonna be choosing to buy a Google Pixel 4 if I was not a choice. But that's me. But we'll that see. So let's read this. I'll Google Pixel 4. Teaser image. The Pixel 4 looks like it comes with some pretty significant differences compared to the Pixel 3. This is what we know about it so far. I like the Pixel 3. The camera where it is has this um, I would say fingerprint sensor just like my phone. Uh, it got a lot of great features you can do. It's awesome. Uh, once rumors. I'm reading this from Business Insider. So Business Insider, I'm reading this not from Superfast A. Once the rumors surrounding Google's upcoming Pixel 4 smartphones. Started emerging, Google itself wanted to join in our fun Twitter in our phone tweeted um, teaser image of the device. So it, this is on Twitter and stuff like that. 
With Google Old Image, there are at least a couple things about the Pixel 4 that was confirmed. It it'll, it's, it'll come with a dual lens rear camera. Okay, dual lens rear camera. Two. It won't have a rear fingerprint sensor like the Pixel 3. No! I like the rear fingerprint sensor. Even on my um, LG G6, I love that. No, I love that. Uh, um. By the confirming a few things, Google actually raises more questions. What will the second camera lens do? And how will users unlock their phones? Will, will there be an, an display an in-display fingerprint sensor? Or will the Pixel 4 reply on, on facial recognition? Now, facial recognition on Pixel 4 is not, it's not as secure as the, you know, as you say, uh, fingerprint ID, fingerprint you know, touch. If you want a, a so, safe, secure um, fingerprint, you go to the Apple side. So. The truth is that we don't know, but rumors at least point us down certain paths we will we'll have to see if those paths lead to the actual Pixel 4 or if they lead to Astray. Check out the Google Pixel 4 rumors we have heard so far. So yeah, me too fast 8 guys, this is how the picture are gonna look like me too fast 8. What is this? This literally looks like the iPhone 11, like take a ball. Just take out the Google lip, take out the Google label and then put that in i would have been confused already i've been like iphone 11. psych it's a google pixel 4. what so first first of all here's the 100 percent real and confirmed pixel 4 straight from google itself the google official company posted this photo this is not from some leakster this is not like the s10 and leaks no this is from the official google what it looks like the Pixel 4 will have come with a dual lens camera system. This literally looks like a Pikachu face. Look at that. Look at that. If you guys can't see this good, I'm sorry, but it really looks like a Pikachu face. The same here. So with a few adjustments to Google phones, we can see a dual lens camera. One of the lens is surely a regular camera that will smartphones have. And the other is like an ultra wide angle cam lens, okay? so. So one of the lenses is surely a regular camera lens, and that all smartphones have, all smartphones have, guys. And the other is likely an ultra wide angle lens. It's possible the second lens could be used for a zoom photo, but Google can already achieve that with artificial zoom with itself, AI, and software ultra wide photos. However, it cannot repl 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 um, replied it by AI and software and somehow I'm getting a Samsung ad on a Google Pixel 4 which, which is kind of weird but I not about that and if you want to see what we talk about on um, the Samsung um, stuff I'll be talking about on the Note 10 up on um, um, Note 10 link down on that side right there with me too fast eh? so uh, yeah guys and this is our uh, more pictures of the Google Pixel 4 coming in with super fat coming in from Business Insider and the Pixel 4 has been supposedly been seen in wild the google pixel 4 some random person has been using the new google pixel 4 this is insane wild google pixel 4 i never seen that before on a on a leak exclusive first photo of google pixel 4 spotted in the wild this is this is this picture looks like this person's outside doesn't look at the background it's like green keep my could be wallpaper but this is a person literally using the new Google Pixel 4. I think it's probably one of the workers on Google, but I'm not so sure about that. So yeah, me super fast eight guys. This is amazing news right now, boy. This is really strange news. A person using it, wild. People took a picture. Someone. You'll be able to control your certain things with the Google Pixel 4 gesture. Just this is what I like. Even if I, even if, even if, if the Google, if the Google Pixel 4 comes with this red design, this is what I will. If I was at the if I got that money to pay it, I will pay for this. Look at this. Let me read this to you. You'll be able to control the certain things on the Pixel 4 with gestures. You know what gestures? You know you can do this with your hand, or do this, or do this, or that. This is what it'll, you can show you on the picture right here. Let me read this to you again. It means fast A. Google is apparently adding a special radar ship with a code name Project Soil. Pixel 4. So that's a cool name, Project Soil. 
you might you can find yourself business and start and find it yourself. And I'll link some other YouTubers that talk more about the Google Pixel for more in depth about it. So that means to let you control certain elements of the phone without touching or talking to it. Is that amazing? Is that the future? I do not know, but I like that. No talking to the phone, no saying, I'm not gonna say it, and no, um, no, you know, just tapping on it. You could just do this. Is that amazing or what? I'm immediately a skeptical of this feature. We've seen gestures based on features on other smartphones, including Samsung Galaxy phones and LGs recently. GA small phones and they never proven particularly part part so, so other phones have have the, but they haven't been useful like G8 Samsung has them I'm, I, I'm absolutely willing to be um oh my goodness oh my god Ple pleasantly surprised and proven wrong about the gestures based on the features and there any company that can make make them useful is Google. So Google can make these awesome futuristic gestures as I say. Futuristic gestures that I say. That this person says. No. I think Google will make them good. Google might ditch the fingerprint sensor and go all in with facial recognition. So Google may um as you say um skip the you know the back sensor like my LG G6 has that too and it will skip that and do facial like I have this on the G6 too but I got both. I hope Google doesn't do that. Google, if you're watching this video right now, please, please, please do not skip the fingerprint sensor. It's awesome. Hopefully the facial recognition that you guys put in will be um safe, will be um, you know, security and safe. Cause I don't want a fingerprint sensor that someone could just get a photo of me and just put it on the cam, put it on the phone, and then boom, just unlock your phone. Be like, I unlock your phone, let's go. And I'll be just, you know. Please just keep this. At least put it on the front, on the back. Well, do something. Don't take it out, but that's her choice. So. And I can read all that. And there are other videos people talk about Google Pixel 4 leaks. There are even cases about the Google Pixel 4. We forget to guess the chip. And the chip of the Google Pixel 4 will be a Snapdragon Qualcomm, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. So this is going to be the one of the good, really, um, Snapdragons. We can take a pretty good the Google Pixel 4 specs, Pixel 4 and chip choice, high flagship device in 2019. And I'll read this from Business Insider, keep in mind. With the RAM, the RAM will be Google Pixel 4 RAM will be 4 gigabytes of RAM. That's a good RAM. My G6 has 4 gigabytes of RAM. Google Pixel 4, Pixel 3 perform fine with 4 gigabytes. No, it's slow. Blah, blah, blah. The Pixel 4 is expected launch in October. So guys. You for for you guys Pixel fans, um, Google Pixel fans, expect this on October. And for iPhone, it's gonna come iPhone 11 and iOS 13 and OS will all come on September. While Samsung will be coming on maybe August the 9th or even the August the 10th of the Note 10 Pro and the Note 10. That's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen the end of summer. They're more back in fall or more close to the fall. They're not like Christmas yet, but they're more back in the fall. So yeah, me too fast, hey guys, Google, uh, blah, 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 and that's pretty much all. To say, do I like the Google Pixel 4? Right now, how they look? No. I do not like the look. But maybe the specs? Yes. 855 Snapdragon Qualcomm? I like the specs. And I might, I, uh, I'm not really will care about the look, even though it will look like uh, that. So yeah, with me too fast, hey guys, yeah, the Google Pixel 4, the specs are good. The looks on the back is horrible to me, but keep it down. Tell down in the comments below. Can you change my mind? Does it look good or does it look horrible? Or you, do you agree with me? Does it be too fast? Say I think it looks horrible because they literally it looks like they copied the. I don't know if they did or not, but the iPhone 11 leaves would have the same similar design, and the Google Pixel 4 actually confirmed that they're gonna have that design, and that a person you a person was literally using it while wow, whatever he was. It looks like a heel or the hands, but I'm not sure. But wherever he was, it you know, it looked like I don't know. All I'm saying, me so fast, I don't like the square, I don't like the pancake design, I don't like the Pikachu face design. I don't like none of that. It's I don't really like it, but everybody's different me so fast. But I like the specs. The specs are good. The specs are good and Google can do those hand gestures really good and usable. I would pick it and say I don't care about the image. So yeah. 
Pixel Fast 8, guys. Yeah, the Google Pixel 4 is more coming in October. And I'll say again, um, the iPhone, Apple people, iPhone 11 will be coming in September. And your iOS 13, you need to update your iOS 13 on September. And iOS 11 will be coming on September. And for Samsung, will be coming the first of all. Note 10 and Note 10 Pro will be coming on August, somewhere the 9th or the 10th. So there are a lot of stuff we're gonna happen. Xbox 2, I haven't made a video about that. I don't know if I'm gonna make that. Xbox 2 is gonna have an 8K resolution display, 8,000 pixels, I think. And PS4, um, PS5 will have an 8K resolution. They both have a lot of specs. They both are using the AMD processor or something like that, I think. That's what I heard. And there's a lot of stuff. And it says, and there's a lot of stuff to say Apple's gonna make AR augmented, augmented glasses or something like that. And and there's a lot of stuff I haven't covered, MacBook, um, a lot of stuff. But we're too fast you guys. The Google Pixel 4, the looks I don't like, the specs I do. So we're gonna see and hear more specs about it. That's officially from the Google, the Square picture, not from no leaks here, officially. And pretty much all I have to say. Sub SFA, like SFA, follow SFA on Twitter, and follow SFA on S uh, Instagram. It's called SuperFastA on Twitter and Instagram, and on YouTube, SuperFastA. Cool guy, that's how you find me, SuperFastA. Like and sub. Thank you for watching SuperFastA talk about the Pixel 4. If you want to know more people that talk more about it, more depth and description about it, link down in the description below. And hit that like button. Hit that like button if you like it, and if you don't like this video, I guess you can hit that thumbs up, um, that thumbs down. So it means too fast, say guys, and comment down below if you like the imagery of the Google Pixel 4. Or do you think, I just thought this, do you just think that the Google Pixel 4 copy iPhone 11 leaks, and then trying to say, since people like the iPhone on um, screen design, even though I don't, they're going to comment. Do you think that? Tell them down in the comments below, down too. I will let the comments be free, and no disabled comments on on this on this video and thank you for watching this will be super fast say and thank you guys for watching this bye with me super fast say google pixel 4 the looks are good the spec the looks are not so good to me but the specs are awesome